So the Packers season is now officially over. Unfortunately, we couldn't finish off the Lions. The Lions did get their third win, beating us 37 to 30. And it got pretty exciting there a couple times near the end. Jordan Love did have a couple opportunities to come in there and maybe lead a potential, you know, game tying, game winning drive. Unfortunately, he did throw two interceptions on those final two drives. One of them sort of bounced off someone else's hands. The other one was clearly a bad throw under some pressure. So we didn't get the win, but, you know, the Packers have already locked up the number one seed. It doesn't necessarily matter. And of course, the Packers, you know, rested a majority of the starters coming in there into the second half. And so looking at this game, I think the biggest, um, I think positive is clearly having David Bautiari back, him playing a majority of the first half is so exciting to see because now with the Packers, you know, having an entire another week of rest, that likely means that David Bautiari will be playing in the playoffs as well as center Josh Myers, who also came in there and played today. And yesterday I put it out on the uh, YouTube community tab that David Bautiari was expected to play, which honestly, I did not see that coming. I really didn't think he was going to play um, earlier this week, but he luckily was able to play. And so that's sort of, I think, the best part for me of this game this week was seeing David Bautiari actually out there on the field for the first time in basically over a year. And he looks pretty good when he was out there. He looked like he was, you know, doing pretty good. So hopefully he's still healthy, ready to go, ready to come now, coming to the playoffs. And then if we take a look to Aaron Rodgers while he was in there in the first half played really well 14 of 18 138 yards two touchdowns 135.6 rating and the biggest day today was by Alan Lazard luckily I actually wore my Alan Lazard jersey today maybe that's why he did so good Um, but he had five receptions 75 yards two touchdowns from Alan Lazard great day for him then we had Devontae Adams six receptions 55 yards he of course broke Jordy Nelson's receiving yards record in a season for the Packers. So congrats there to Devontae Adams. Josiah DeGuara, three receptions, 66 yards, and a touchdown. Of course, that little Jordan Love throws a little screen pass to Josiah DeGuara, basically. 62-yard touchdown there. So that was an insane play. DeGuara's speed on that was just incredible. So now the Packers do finish the season sitting at 13-4. and And we have now one week of rest until we face off against whoever the... um, NFC team is that will end up, you know, seeding with us whenever the Packers do play in the divisional game. So I think the Packers are in a very, very good position. Obviously, we wanted to see them win today, but I don't think it, you know, necessarily matters. The second half, of course, was lots of backups. And the Lions did come in, had a pretty great game, um, especially those two crazy trick plays, which worked out well for them. And the one question coming to this game about, you know, starting the starters, resting them, allowing them to play or not play was, you know, the fear of someone potentially getting injured. It does seem that Shannon Sullivan did get injured. I think I saw it's a knee injury. I haven't seen any other updates on um, Shannon Sullivan's status, so hopefully he's going to be okay. But besides that, I didn't see any other injuries happen, at least for the Packers in today's game. I know the Packers rested Aaron Jones and Devondre Campbell, both of those guys, um, got to rest this week. But I think the best news, David Bossiari, of course, back. Aaron Rodgers, um, you know, still looking healthy, looking great out there. So the offense, you know, had that momentum going in the first half with most of the starters playing. So now we get to wait at least two weeks until we get to f- see the Packers play in the playoffs, which will be exciting regardless of who we face off against. Being the number one seed, getting to be at Lambeau Field, um, it's definitely going to be exciting, you know, leading up to that game in a couple weeks. Of course, with next week being the wild card weekend and the Packers being the only team in the NFC to have a bye. And of course, there'll be one other team in the AFC to have a bye as well. So I look forward to that and I'll be covering all the news that goes down for the Packers before um, that point. So if you want to stay tuned for that, feel free to subscribe to the channel. That's pretty much all I wanted to say today. Just do a little short recap on the game, sort of my thoughts from today. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.